Okay, we have our next example. A rectangular trough is 10 feet long and 3 feet wide. Okay, we have here 10 feet long and 3 feet wide. Find how fast the surface rises if water flows in, in the trough at the rate of in the trough at the rate of at the rate of 12 cubic feet per minute okay so if you are going to analyze the problem it's given it is given that the volume is equal to 12 cubic feet per minute so the amount of water that is getting inside the trough is equal to 12 cubic feet per minute. So it is being asked how fast the surface rises. So how fast is the water increases at any time wherein your volume is, wherein your water is increasing. So... When dv dt is equal to 12 cubic feet per minute, how fast the water inside the trough is increasing? In our figure here, our length is equal to 10, our width is equal to 3, and our height that is expressed as variable y. Solution here. What is the formula of volume of water? inside the trough of course the formula of volume of water inside the trough that is equivalent to length times width times height if we are going to analyze the problem the first thing that you are going to do you are going to analyze what is changing and what is constant so, if we are going to look at the figure, whenever there is an increase of water inside the trough, the length and the width of the water is constant. So, whenever your water is increasing, length and width is constant. What is changing? What is changing? Y or the height of the water is changing at any time. So therefore, when you are going to find the derivative, find the derivative of the volume of water and the derivative of the height of the water. Because the volume of water inside the trough is changing. So do with the height of the water. So, therefore, the volume of the water inside the trough, that is equal to length times width times height. Wherein the volume is equal to the length here is 10, the width is 3, and the height is expressed as y. So, because the length and the width is constant, even though there is an increase of the height of the water. So, therefore, we will treat that one as constant. You directly substitute the value of 10 and the value of 3. And the remaining variables, you find the derivative. So therefore, you will have V is equal to 30Y. D, D, T. So DV over DT so you will have 30 dy dt. We are solving for dy dt because we are going to find how fast the water is rising. So therefore you will have dy dt is equal to db dt divided by 30. So therefore, substitute. Okay. 
substitute the value of dv dt equal to 12. So therefore, dy dt is equal to 12 divided by 30. dy dt is equal to 0.4 feet per minute. Okay, that's it.